Okay, that's great. I feel so much safer with Milton here. We've lost the only lead we had to help us find Sofia Capone. You think Baccarini's murder could be related? Maybe. It's hard to say. At the very least, though, it's clearly targeted because, well, according to our deductions, because the murderer just charged in and focused on one dude and ignored the guest, so that seems to imply that it was targeted towards that guy. You're at a crime scene, and you sit down to read? Titus Andronicus. One of the actors on the Hindenburg lent it to me. They're performing it soon. You couldn't ask for more appropriate reading material. Murder, mutilation, torture. <laughs> Shakespeare's got it all. Yeah, like a well-read guy. Why'd you go to jail? For murder, but... You didn't do it, of course. Of course I did it, but I didn't intend to. It's best not to ask too much about, you know, people's past, especially if it involves criminal activities. Oh god, oh god, what's gonna be inside? So paranoid. Eyes? Oh my god. Better not be eyes. <sighs> Uh, prediction. It would be really cool if it's just some nice documents. Please. Oh god. Jesus. There's at least a million dollars here. Now we know it's not for money. Mm-hmm. Baccarini's? I'd be surprised. Probably his guests. And I doubt it was to pay Baccarini for his services. None of his forgeries are worth that much. Carlo, I have the goods for OB, but I have to take the children to school tomorrow and I can't make the meetup. Friday, same time, same place. It's signed and I. Mm-hmm. These initials are getting to be a pain in the ass, right? I have to take the kids to school tomorrow. I don't think this is some loving divorced daddy, Milton. Ah, I take back what I just said. That might give us some hint on when this took place, because as far as we know, he could have been here like that for a while already. The driver's license of one John Martinson and Osmond Burke. OB. Hmm. Do we know him? The eldest son of the richest family in Vermont, convicted rapist. He was arrested thanks to the testimony of his father who wound up disinheriting him. He escaped from prison last week. He broke into the family home and slit the throats of all his relatives one by one. Whoa. Opened the safe and got away with a fortune. Uh, they don't make jails like they used to. All starting to add up, isn't it? Yeah! What the fuck? Out of my way! Ow! 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 Oh my god. Ah! I knew it! Ah! Milton! Ah! Milton! You're doing fine on your own, Mr. Ah! I believe in you. Killed Baccarini? He was a monster! Oh, get your hands off me, Negro! What was he like? Describe him for me. I, he was a monster. Red and black. I mean, his head reached the ceiling. He, he tore off his hands with his claws! It was a monster! A monster! Oh, he locked himself inside this room. Should I hit him again? Yeah. 
You're Osmond Burke, right? Yeah, yeah, yes. Good. Now pay attention, Burke, because I have a question for you. Who wrote this note? Uh, uh, Nikolai Ivankov. Rings a bell. One of Capone's right-hand men 20 years ago. 20 years ago? What does ago? this stuff about kids mean? I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Calm down, Burke. You were going to meet up with him, right? Yes, uh, yeah, at the docks, uh, uh, berth 42, right, right next to where, um, where, where the uh, allig Alligator 3 is moored. So what's the meetup time? Uh, t tomorrow, tomorrow at, uh, uh, tomorrow, 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 tomorrow at noon, tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow? No, it's going to be tonight. Oh, we only got to ask him about one thing. Don't get too comfortable. We'll be there in no time. Wait, what is this supposed to be? Am I talking to Milton or what? I don't know. You need painkillers. I hate the fact that I'm taking an interest in your health, but it's the law. I'm afraid not, Mr. Ness. I have to take him to Alphonse. Out of the question. I know his temper. He'll beat him to a pulp. Listen, if the missing girl was your granddaughter, you wouldn't forgive me if I didn't let you see the only suspect who could lead us to her. Okay. Ah, shucks. What? I thought that bloodbath would cover up the smell of stale grease. I was wrong. Elliot? Ah, oh, Delphine. Oh, thank God you're here. The lights were off, so I thought that... Ex-wife? Uh, I'm sorry. I got out of the hospital late, then I went to the station to pick up Jim's check, and when they told me... Oh, Dockers' wife. I... Uh, I'm scared. Of what? What are you drinking? Juice! It's only juice. Juice and nothing else. Breathe on me. <laughs> you heard me. <sighs> I'm sorry. It, it hasn't been a good day. What's happened? No! You knew! Knew about what? What's that gun doing there? The guy I know is having trouble with a two-bit mafioso. He asked me to go with him, just in case. I didn't have to get it out. Well, don't. Don't start taking on the Mafia. Not now. You really don't know? No, I don't know. And if you keep up the guessing games, I'll never know. He's back. Who? Him. Al Capone? I don't know why it still surprises me, but it's incredible that you were such a good detective, and yet you've never been able to understand people. That's why my wife left Capone me. Capone got out of jail. Where do you hear that? Chief Jenkins. Chief Jenkins? The same guy who said he was going to clean up Santa Esperanza, right? In that case, you can rest assured Capone just put on his striped pajamas and in four minutes time he'll be snoring in his cell. Elliot, what if it's true? If he's out, what's the first thing he's going to do? Who does he hate more than anyone? Hmm. He spent almost 20 years in jail. Capone's an old man. If he gets out, at most he's going to challenge me to a race to the nearest park bench. Please, Elliot, don't joke. You're the only part of Jim's life that I have left. If you put yourself in danger, I... What? Shoulder, shoulder. I'm fine, thanks. I burnt it cooking. Fried eggs are the devil's work. What's going on, Elliot? We're closed. Can you wait outside for a couple of minutes, Milton? 
Sure, of course. Uh, although, I'm sorry to say, but we're short on time. Elliot. Um... I said a couple of minutes, Milton. It's all right. Goodbye, Elliot. You can use that couple of minutes to teach this gentleman some manners. Well, he wasn't that bad. No, and it's none of your business. Sorry to butt in. I've brought your rapist costume for the party. Seriously, you're not... No, she's the wife of a friend who died in the line of duty, Jim Dockers. Mm. Alphonse told me about him. Your Alphonse killed him. Yeah, I'm sorry, Mr. Ness. Although he's not the same man he was. Anyway, isn't a deal with marriage until death do us part? It's not that simple. There are other factors. Dockers was my best friend. I couldn't do that to him. Not even now he's dead. Right. So you like her, but you don't have the nerve. Oh yeah? What would you do? Women have never been one of my priorities. I'm sorry. <laughs> Forget it. Are you gay? <laughs> you screwed Alphonse good, didn't you? I don't think he holds it against me this far down the line. He's a new man now, right? Did you enjoy it? Of course I did. Yes. I think it was the happiest day of my life. That bastard deserved it. Maybe it was. Cause based on what I've seen, from that day on it went downhill. Did they find those kids? No. How do I look? Oh my like God. the invisible man in the movie. <laughs> no one's gonna buy it. Take it easy. Everything's going to work out fine. Uh, he's gonna go meet up with... And I, was it? Nikolai... Eisenloff or whatever? Sure it's here. Relax. It's just a little further. Just follow me. This plan is suicidal. We're gonna die. I don't think so. I don't think so. And may I ask why? It's not the first time I've done a job like this. And I never was any good at getting killed. There's a first time for everything, my friend. Milton, if you go on contradicting me, you're not going to get into your role. Don't forget, while we're here, you're supposed to be at my beck and call. While we're here. I'm glad we have Milton with us. He seems to be a nice guy. Nice enough for someone who's a murderer. Hear that? Not bad. <laughs> a white boy who likes the blues. What's next? You gonna let the black man vote? <laughs> Haha, <laughs> that's so funny. To the brave sailors of island of the island of Saint Helena. Custom, so I'm guessing we probably need to go that way. Which means go the other way. Oh, can we not go in? Seems like we could go in here. That's too bad. Okay, well. This whole thing is just so bizarre so far, though. Is Do you think the 
the murderer is the guy that we saw with the huge horns on his head. Hey you, where do you think you're going? I'm here to see your boss, so do your job. What did you just say, you freak? Well, we tried being polite. Kick him in the balls, honey. It'd be my pleasure, uh, sweetie chops. <laughs> Dakota. Yeah, my pleasure, Miss Dakota. Listen, friend, I've had to freeze my ass off on guard duty myself. Let me and my man pass, and you can carry on warming yourself up. The other option is for us to warm him up ourselves, Mr. Burke. Ah, you got one of those uppity negroes, I see. They're really racist here, but if we want to get on his good side, I guess I'll follow along. I hope Milton's okay with it. You have no idea, my friend. Takes the patience of a saint. Yeah. <laughs> Look, pal, without an appointment, you can't come in. I have an appointment in the name of Osmond Burke. You're Burke? Why didn't you say so before? Come on in. Milton said my name already earlier. He said Mr. Burke. God. People need to learn to listen. So we're holding a million dollars or something. What are we here to exchange for a million dollars? I don't know how many how much money is actually in the briefcase, by the way. Totally not scary at all. This place is freaking me out a little bit. Just just a little bit. Anything here? Nope. It's supposed to be here. Where's the ship? Looking for someone. We arranged to meet Nikolai Ivankov at Berth 42, but it looks like the ship isn't moored here. Has she set sail? It isn't moored? <laughs> Maybe she sunk to the bottom of the ocean. Whoa! A submarine. That's it! Oh yeah, I forgot to mention earlier, but Elliot is voiced by the guy who does Geralt in The Witcher series. But you would have known that already if you saw the credits anyway, so... What do I think of Blues and Bullets so far? I'm interested. I'm interested in the story. Yeah, I want to know what happens next. Although I'm... Uh, it would be preferable for me if it didn't get any more gory and explicit more than it is already this episode. Because I'm quite queasy and really chicken. So... But I mean if the fighting scenes don't extend beyond just basic shooting and QTEs, I'm okay with that too because I really can't act under pressure. But yeah, overall I think it's a good setup. However though, 
I do think that the reviews are right. The technical aspects do kind of detract from the experience a little bit. For example, if you examine an object twice, it won't let you skip through it even though you've seen it already. So... If you don't do it a lot, that's great, but if you do, then it can get annoying really fast. And... One major reason that I actually use the controller this time... I usually don't like using the controller. Oh wait, look! Okay, maybe we should check this out first. Please tell me that's Sophia. What is that? You know that we punish children who behave badly, don't you? <laughs> Yesterday it was Juliet who behaved badly. Do you remember? Uh huh. She hit Junior so she would finish ahead of him in the morning race. Do you know what we did to her? Mm -mm. Don't worry. You'll find out soon enough. Which do you prefer? The doll or the plush toy? Ah, uh, I don't know. They're probably both equally horrifying. Go, Mickey bit Tom so he could take his food. Do you know what we did with him? Bruno says you killed him. Bruno says many things. Which do you prefer, blonde hair or brown? What? They're gonna throw the other one away. Uh, brown, I guess. Today, you tried to escape. Do you know what the difference is? No. Juliet and Mickey hurt their friends so that we would not punish them. You tried to escape, but you did not harm your friends. On the contrary, you tried to help Bruno, putting your own life in danger. Very few children would do that. We are going to punish you. <laughs> but in a different way than Juliet and Mickey. Bruno, on the other hand, did something very similar to them. He betrayed you to avoid being punished. I'm sorry. Which of these two drawings do you like best? Oh my god. You're not gonna throw that guy in the fire, right? I don't know. Okay, so these are the actual credits. I don't... Yeah, earlier I was trying to talk about why I used a controller instead of a keyboard, because usually I would prefer a keyboard for pretty much everything, other than maybe platformers. And it's because I tried it with the keyboard. I loaded up the first scene with the keyboard and it was just not good. It doesn't feel as obvious when I'm using a controller, but the character walks super super slow it's nearly unplayable on the keyboard i would even say but other than that i am looking forward to episode two and let me know if you would like to see it too because if it gets too gory i don't know if i can continue <laughs> also i'm pretty sure that one of those achievements conscientious was for discovering or looking at every object in the game so i'm pretty pleased about that it means we didn't miss much one other kind of complicated thing that these types of games deal with, the episodic narrative games, is the illusion of choice. And unfortunately, I'm gonna have to say that Blues and Bullets is not doing 
I don't feel is doing that great in that department right now. Because sometimes it was just really obvious that no matter what choice I picked, there was a definite choice that would happen in the end, regardless of what I actually want to happen. So that part is a little bit iffy, but I can understand it. It's just like The Walking Dead, there's so many fake choices. And really the only requirement for me enjoying a story is that the story is good, I don't really care if it's linear or not. I'm just being taken on for a ride, so... Yeah, without rambling on too much, too long didn't listen. I enjoyed episode 1 of Blues and Bullets so far. There were some things that did detract from the experience, but I can overlook it. They're not something that would cause me to stop playing the game for, so... I look forward to the rest of it. Protectium. Is she here? My father asked you to take care of me. Is this how you respect a dead man's wishes? Screw everything I said. He's Al Capone. He may not have much left, but he'll have something. Life's full of little twists and turns, huh? Alright, we get to look at our choices. I chose to be nice instead of harsh. I remained calm after Al Capone taunted me. Okay, that time I really wanted to be angry, but I figured being calm would be the better choice. I demanded Al Capone to exile from the country. 33% wait for the other ones. Majority? Majority? This one though. This one... Most people asked for his money. <laughs> well, I guess it makes sense. And surprise that not that many people asked him to go back to jail, but maybe that's because he came out of jail. He, he escaped, right? Did he escape or did he actually fulfill his term? I'm a little bit fuzzy on that. But yeah, if you throw him back into jail, I guess it's not really an assurance that he's going to go away because he already got out once. I kept myself sober. Yeah, majority. I was sensitive to Delphine. Okay, I'm I'm glad, I'm glad. Because I thought, yeah, I thought that if you pat someone on the knee, it's much more intimate than patting someone on the shoulder, right? So, I'm glad. I'm glad. Or is that a different choice? Either way. Yeah, that's it for our choices. Bubblehead. Oh my god. <laughs> 
so apparently after I finished playing episode one, there was like these little things that I can- Oh my goodness. Okay, maybe I'll look at that another time. But for now, thank you for joining me for Blues and Bullets episode one. Like I said previously, episode two will be released between October and November. So stay tuned and I hope I'll see you all later. This was Matter Wellens and I'll see you all in another place in another time. Bye!